Hello. On this lesson, we're going to install Meteor command line so we will be able to create, manage, and run Meteor applications. And to do that, we just have to go to the Meteor docs, and then there's the install page right here. And you can see that Meteor supports OSX, Windows, and Linux. And on this course, I will be using OSX. The only thing required to install Meteor is Node.js 8 or Neo. And if you don't have Node.js in your machine, you can just go to nodejs.org and install it from here. Or another great option is to install the Node version manager, because in this way, you can keep different versions of Node in your machine. In my case, I already have Node.js installed. And to check that, you can just run node-version, and we can see that I have the version 14 installed here. And now I will go to the documentation page and copy this command that is just npm install dash g meter and paste it right here. So this command, it's going to download meter, extract and set it so it will be able to run in your local machine. And when you need to update meter, you can use the meter CLI itself. You don't need to run this command anymore. So we will just speed up the video a little bit because it can take a while depending on your machine or in your internet connection. And it is done. So to check if Meteor is really installed, we can run the command Meteor. And yeah, this is the expected output. Let me clear this command line and run it again. So you can see it more clearly. Meter. Yeah, so it says that I'm not in a meter project. That's correct. And also, you can see some instructions uh, to create a new project. And there's an example of how to do that. And we can also run another command just to get to know a bit more this command line that is meter help. And you will see a list of available commands right here. We have, for example, meter run that uh, it will run the project in local development. And we have like meter create to create a new project. We have meter add when you need to add a meter package. And we have remove when you need to remove a package. So we will go deeper on this comment during the course. And now we are good to go to the next video.